Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Semerauer. Let's get started with our top stories this morning, sponsored by Carnegie Heights. Here's the latest on real water. More people are coming forward as the FDA continues to look into a possible link between the Las Vegas-based water company and illnesses. One of the latest suits claims that a Las Vegas family suffered, quote, catastrophic poisoning with a five-year-old child experiencing full-blown liver failure, though she is now in recovery. Another lawsuit claims that a UFC Hall of Famer was hospitalized for five days and that another family's dog died after drinking real water. The massive mesh screen at Allegiant Stadium is coming down, but don't be alarmed. Review Journal's Jen Ah tells us why. Good morning, Jen. Renee, originally transportation officials say there were concerns the large digital screen alongside I-15 would create glares. But that concern has been addressed and is not the reason why the screen panels are being taken down. This screen at Allegiant Stadium spans more than 27,000 square feet. Experts saying some of the clamps that hold the panels in place simply need to be repositioned. Review Journal's Mick Aker saying this is only temporary. Um, don't worry, it's not going to be taken down permanently. They're just readjusting some of the, the panel spacing there. So it's going to be up in time for the season, obviously. Primsview is the contractor while Summit Swing Stage is carrying out the installation. Renee? Thank you, Jen. Well, Passover begins at sundown on Saturday, and it promises to be more festive this year. Michelle Morgan DeVore said she normally invites about 30 people to her home for the Seder. But last year, due to the pandemic, she switched to a virtual version on Zoom. This year, we are going to go to Portland and be with our children and our grandchildren and have just a very, very small, intimate Seder. In honor of Women's History Month, Nellis Air Force Base put together a video honoring its female service members, including Colonel Sheila Wilds, who talks about the moment she was put in charge of the operations group at the base. One of the female majors from the 706 Fighter Squadron came in and she said, Ma'am, I just, when we found out that we were going to have a female commander, we all rejoiced a little bit and we all thought it was so amazing. And you being here gives us options that we never thought were possible. And I still, I still get chills thinking about that. In your entertainment news, sponsored by Las Vegas Motor Speedway, Virgin Hotels Las Vegas is set to open its doors tonight in what used to be the Hard Rock Hotel. The guitars are gone, rehab is gone, they'll be replaced with a desert decor and, as Al Mancini explains, an extra layer of privacy. There are doors that separate the, vest the entrance vestibule from the main hotel room. That way if somebody gets up to answer the door, get room service example, um, the people bringing the food into the room aren't going to have a clear view into what's going on into the main bedroom. I will be there live tonight and we will bring you complete coverage of the opening on LVRJ.com and a full report tomorrow on 7 at 7 a.m. Now let's take a look at our local weather sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. Breezy conditions will remain on your Thursday and rain is forecasted for later tonight. Partly sunny skies are forecasted by the National Weather Service with a high of near 69 degrees. Winds could gust around 30 miles per hour. A 30% chance of showers mainly between 11 p.m. and 4 a.m. for your evening. Temperatures around 51 degrees and windy. For the rest of the week, temperatures will begin to rise upper 60s for your Friday with a 20% chance of showers before noon. Temps heading into the mid to upper 70s through the weekend. Hey, thank you for telling your friends and neighbors about 7 at 7 on YouTube. Go ahead and give us a like and hit the subscribe button down below. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, the developers who tried to build the Drew Las Vegas are getting back to the real estate game. Steve Whitkoff and Howard Lorber are trying to raise $250 million for a new venture. According to a SEC filing, they plan to acquire and manage companies that provide technological solutions targeting the real estate industry. This is basically the, you know, the first, uh, seems to be the first or one of the first major projects that these developers have launched since their efforts to finish the former Fountain Blue failed. 
In your lifestyle news, sponsored by Get Healthy Clark County, many people are ready to think about flying again, including those who might have vouchers for flights that they couldn't take during the pandemic. Now, if you have a voucher sitting in your pocket, here's what you need to know. First, check the expiration date. They may vary from airline to airline. And next, know the transfer rules. Many airlines let you change your destination. And if you're not ready to fly just yet, ask the airline if you can get an extension. Sports, sponsored by Scenic Brewing Company. With your morning sports update, I'm LeAndre Fox. The last time UNLV went to the Sweet 16, new running Rebels head coach Kevin Kruger was their point guard, and his father, Lon, was the head coach. In an interview with the Review Journal, Sam Gordon, Kruger talks about the energy surrounding UNLV when he was suiting up as a player. Coming back from Chicago to shoulder-to-shoulder to shoulder fans at McCarran Airport, um, it really just kind of hits you that, that, that this is a, a place that just, just loves Rebel basketball and just supports it and, and wants us to win. For more from this interview, check out Sam's story on Kruger Sunday at LVRJ.com. With this sports betting update, I'm Cassie Soto. The Golden Knights are underdogs in tonight's showdown against the Avalanche in Colorado. The Avalanche are minus 142 favorites at Circus Sports. The Knights are plus 130. The total is five and a half. The Knights lead Colorado by two points in the West Division and are six to one to lift the Stanley Cup. The Avalanche are plus 650 to win the title. In your health news, sponsored by 4M Dental, Love Your Smile Again, a discovery that could help identify spikes of COVID-19 faster. A study tested water coming into a treatment facility in northern Nevada. That water showed a spike in the coronavirus about seven days before it showed up in tests on people. So the wastewater testing that's being done in northern Nevada is really similar to the testing that's being done down here in southern Nevada. The big thing that came out of the uh, Northern Nevada study, which is an ongoing study, is that they're saying that testing of wastewater down there can be predictive. So public health officials can identify spikes in infections in wastewater. So by identifying the, the genetic material in the wastewater, they're able to catch that infection a lot earlier. Well, that's all for today's 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. Remember, you can get every bit of local news you need in just seven minutes with 7 at 7 on LVRJ.com and our RJ mobile app. You can also find us on Roku, Apple TV, and much more. We hope you'll join us again this evening for 7 at 7 p.m. Thank you for watching. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal.